Hello everyone. So our topic is Grover's algorithm. This algorithm was given by Lau Grover in 1996. It is basically a quantum search algorithm. So if we have to look at the definition of this uh, Grover's algorithm, then we will define it like uh, is a, it is a quantum algorithm uh, for searching an unsorted database with n entries in the order of square root of n time, and uh, it will use log n storage space. So this definition will uh, become clear um, uh, within a minute. So um, for example, we have an unsorted database which runs from one to n. Assume that uh, there's a box and uh, there are uh, 10 balls in it. Out of 10 balls, nine are uh, blue and one is red. So let's assume here uh, is that red ball and we'll be interested in locating this red ball where it is. Okay, so uh, we will say that all other uh, states or uh, all other uh, uh, those balls uh, whose color is blue, uh, let's uh, assume that uh, their state is represented by the zero and there is one red ball and uh, its state is represented by one. So there is only one state uh, and, and we will call this state as a winning state and all other states are non-winning states. So we'd be interested in locating this. The, the function for, um, for this uh, problem is uh, like this, f of x is equal to zero, okay? For all those values of x, which is not equal to w, which is not equal to winning state, okay? And there is this one particular value here, where the value of this function is one, and uh, that value is the winning state, x is equal to w. So we'd be interested in locating this where it is. Now let's first see the classical approach. So for example, if we have n number of entries, then this w or the winning state can be found in an average of uh, n by two evaluations, okay? Uh, for example, we have 1000 entries, then uh, we have to search uh, 500 times at least uh, so that we have a probability of 50% to locate this, right? Uh, or in the worst case, if we are not lucky enough, then we have to search n times or we have if we have n number of or 1000 entries, then we have to search 1000 times. We have to do 1000 evaluations. Okay, uh, so this is a very cumbersome uh, process. So for example, as the uh, n is very large, for example, 1 billion, then it's very hard to locate this. Or, I mean, it's very hard to evaluate this. Okay, so, uh, so we will look for another method or another technique by which uh, we would uh, reduce this uh, number of evaluations. For example, if it is 1000, then uh, it is very hard uh, classically to do these uh, much of evaluations. We'll try to reduce the number of evaluations. And there comes this uh, Grover's algorithm uh, for the rescue. So uh, in the quantum approach, uh, what we do in this uh, Grover's uh, algorithm, first of all, uh, dear, we define an oracle. Uh, it is uh, basically a black box for which we define a function and it gives us result. So Oracle is of very fundamental importance in, in this Grover's algorithm. So it will be very unique in it. Um, it will try to evaluate uh, our function and uh, for that particular function, for that we have to define a function on this Oracle. So two Oracles will be used in Grover's algorithm. So we will name it that uh, UF and another Oracle at UF naught. So this is the circuit uh, that you can see. This is the circuit of this Grover's algorithm. So the components in it uh, are like, first of all, we will apply the Hadamard gate. It will uh, prepare a superposition state, or we call it a standard state. After that, uh, we will apply this Oracle, UF. And after that, uh, we will apply the diffuser or the reflection part of the circuit. So this reflection part, it simply um, increases the amplitude uh, of uh, our result. So again, I will repeat it. This is the Hadamard gate. First, we will apply this. It will produce a superposition state. And after that, we will apply this UF oracle. UF oracle, it will do simply inversion. If, we, if it is a winning state, it will produce um, minus times. It will flip it down or uh, it will change the phase, uh, phase of that, um, uh, that state. And if it is non-winning state, then they will remain unchanged. So this is the function of this oracle. And after that, once we flip it down, uh, our winning state, uh, we'd be interested in uh, increasing its probability or increasing its amplitude 
So for that, we will apply this diffuser circuit. It consists of Hadamard gate and this oracle, and again, Hadamard gate, and finally, we will measure it. So it's also called a reflection part, or we can also call it as a diffuser part. Uh, it's meant to increase the amplitude. So let's see the working one by one. So step number one is, first of all, we'll apply the Hadamard gate. So we have states uh, and we'll apply the Hadamard gate on both the states and we'll produce a superposition of all states. So that superposition will be given by this. So this is the amplitude uh, of that superposition state and this is the summation of all those states. Okay, so this is uh, where we apply the Hadamard gate. Okay, so initially the amplitude of all those states will be equal and amplitude will be given by one by square root of two raised to power n or one by square root of two raised to power n is equal to n capital N. Okay, so these, these are the states from zero to n minus one and amplitude of all these states is equal. Okay, now what we will do, we will define another um, uh, another state, uh, we will name it as a W prime, such that uh, it is orthogonal to the winning state W. When it is orthogonal, that means uh, the inner product of these two states will be equal to zero. Here you can see uh, in this graph, this is the winning state along uh, this direction. But this is the, the state that we just define it, which is uh, orthogonal to this winning state, making an angle of uh, pi by two. Okay, so this is uh, that uh, superposition state and it's making an angle of uh, theta by two with respect to this W prime ket. So when it is orthogonal, that means the uh, inner product uh, will be equal to zero and its amplitude uh, is given by this square root of two raised to the power n minus one divided by square root of two raised to the power n and this um, summation of all those uh, non-winning states. So where X is not equal to W. So it consists of all those states except that one winning state, this W prime, okay? W is the winning state, W prime is the, is the summation of all those non-winning states. That's why here it is minus one. So the superposition state, it will be summation of uh, non-winning states, uh, summation of non-winning state and the winning state. So this is one winning state, these are the non-winning states. This the amplitude of this non-winning states, this is the amplitude of winning state, okay? And uh, the component of this uh, superposition state along the non-winning state is a cos component. And uh, here it is sine component. So we will write that the superposition state is the summation of cos theta by two W prime ket plus sine theta by two W ket. Now uh, let's see the step two, uh, which is uh, called phase inversion. So this is why we apply the first oracle. So far, we just uh, applied the Hadamard gate to create a superposition of all those states. So let's see now what will do this phase inversion. So it simply changes the phase of uh, winning state only. That means once we apply this oracle UF on the winning state, it will change its sign. I mean, it will flip it down. So that's why we get the negative part here, right? And uh, all other states which are non-winning states, which are represented by X, where X is not equal to W, they will remain unchanged. So UF applied on X states or X cat, it remains as X cat, okay? For all those X which are not equal to winning state. Here you can see in this graph, so this winning state, uh, it was the W, it is being flipped down, okay? And all others, uh, they remain unchanged. And amplitude of all those states is given by one by square root of N, okay? So once we apply this uh, oracle on the superposition state only, the winning state will be flipped down. So that's why we'll get minus one here uh, and all other states, they will remain unchanged. So their value will remain same, but only the winning state uh, will get a negative sign here. This is the this is the graphical representation of this phase inverge and this is the superposition uh, state or we call as the standard state. And this is the non-winning state, which makes an angle theta by two with this uh, S state. And this is the W state. Uh, phase inversion, uh, when we apply the UF oracle on this uh, superposition state, it will flip it down. So this is that state. This is the direction of that. Okay. So this was the original projection of this uh, winning state, this superposition state along the winning state. Now this is the projection of that uh, once we flip it down. Okay. So we have two projections here, right? Now let's go to the step three. So once we are done with uh, the phase inversion, 
Now, we'd be interested in, uh, as I uh, initially told you while I was uh, discussing about the circuit, uh, the third component of the circuit is uh, meant to, to increase the amplitude or increase the probability of that winning state. So we, we have already located that. Now we'll try to increase the amplitude of winning state only, and we'll try to reduce the amplitude of, uh, of non-winning states um, uh, correspondingly. So it is called as inversion about the mean uh, by using the second oracle uf naught, or we'll represent it, uh, it by v. So here you can see, um, uh, here is the graphical representation uh, where we have applied uh, the second oracle v. Okay, so this was uh, initial state, this s. We applied uh, the first oracle, it um, uh, changed uh, its phase. So you can see here, this was the direction of that, uh, particular state while we applied uf now when we applied v on this state okay so it will be equal to v dot uf on this s state so it will again change it so uh, it will flip it so see this is the direction now this and it is making an angle theta with this s state so this is called v dot this v a second oracle has been applied on this uf uh, s state so this is that uh, phase inversion state, okay? And we applied V on this now. Now you can see that uh, initially we had, um, it was making an angle of theta by two. Now its amplitude has been increased uh, by theta. So we can see that amplitude of this uh, winning state has got increased by theta plus theta by two. This theta plus theta by two, that's equal to three uh, theta by two, okay? This is uh, how we, um, increases the amplitude. This whole step, uh, it's called Grover's iteration. This uh, V dot U F uh, on S state, um, it is called R, or uh, we call it as a Grover's rotation. And we have to repeat this uh, square root of N times, okay? And uh, we will uh, try to repeat this uh, until uh, this uh, green line, it becomes closer and closer to this winning state. So once we do another iteration, then uh, its amplitude uh, will be increased uh, uh, again by some angle. So it will, again, its direction will be like this. Then again, it will go upwards. And finally, it will come, uh, become very close to the spinning state. And uh, after that, uh, we will see that we have got uh, maximum probability of the spinning state. And uh, that's what uh, uh, here it is written that repeat Grover's iteration till we get close to the winning state or once the theta becomes pi by two, okay? And uh, here you can see this is the winning state. Its amplitude got increased. First, it was flipped down. We applied again the oracle. Its amplitude got increased uh, by, um, by three theta by two, okay? And the amplitude of all other states that were decreased. So amplitude of this X um, state or the non-winning states that gets decreased uh, after each uh, iteration. And uh, now the magnitude is less than one by square root of N. So you can see here red dashes. Um, this represents the decreased amplitude of all those non-winning states and amplitude of this winning state has got uh, increased. So we can say now that uh, our job is done that we have increased the probability of that winning state and the probability of uh, other non-winning states has decreased. And this was our job uh, of searching that one particular element. Thank you.